Number 8. Doc Ock. Also known as Otto Octavius, he is one of Spider-Man's most formidable foes. Some of that has to do with his genius level intellect, but equally important are the titanium tentacle arms that extend from a harness on his back. In the real world, after becoming the world's youngest Bitcoin millionaire, Eric Finman used his money to create a real life version of Doc Ock's infamous appendages. It might sound like a supervillain origin story, but it's actually the opposite. Finman adapted the device to be used by the son of one of his mentors. 11-year-old Aris Tumihan suffered from mobility issues and he could control the motorized tentacles on his back to move lightweight objects. They were connected to specialized gloves so that Mihan could operate them just by using his index finger. Eric believes that with further improvements, the suit could lift a car or the occasional friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Number seven. If you're a Batman fan, then there's no doubt that you're familiar with the grappling hook gun, which is one of the Dark Knight's preferred gadgets. The Cape Crusader can shoot a seemingly infinite amount of cable from his tiny bat tool and then rapidly pull himself in or out of trouble. But the grappling gun isn't a gadget that only exists in Gotham. The REBS compact launcher, which has been used in the US military, has about 100 feet of cable. The cable is stored in a container beneath the gun and powered with a pneumatic piston that delivers a crisp 4,500 PSI. You still have to rely on your own two feet to climb a surface though. Grappling hook guns with automatic winches tend to be pretty heavy since they include mechanisms that are capable of pulling the weight of a fully grown adult. Number six. If you haven't heard of wingsuit flying, well, then you're in for quite the ride. By adding extra surface to the pilot's body, the wingsuit increases lift. It's the same principle that enables Batman to cape glide throughout Gotham City streets. Flying squirrels achieve lift the same way, but Squirrel Man isn't a name that will strike fear into the hearts of the wicked. Regardless, aviation pilot Eves Rossi took wingsuit flying one step further. Also known as the Jet Man, Rossi attached four jet engines, two on each side, to an eight-foot carbon wing. The final result is a suit that looks a bit like the X-07 Falcon flight suit from the Marvel Universe. Jetman then strapped himself to his creation and in 2006 became the first person to successfully fly horizontally for six minutes. In the years that followed, some versions of this jet-powered wingsuit could reach speeds of 190 miles an hour. Number five, Elon Musk is compared to Tony Stark from time to time, but British inventor Richard Browning is the one who is more like Iron Man. He funded a company called Gravity and created the Daedalus Flight Pack. It's a jet pack made up of micro gas turbines. Two are attached to a metal frame on the person's back while jet engine pairs are attached to each arm. They allow the pilot to control direction and output, much like Iron Man. And also resembling the Marvel superhero suit is the helmet with a heads up display informing the pilot of the suit and flight status. Daedalus can reach an altitude of 2,000 feet, but most flights take place way below that. Properly piloted, the real-life Iron Man suit can go pretty fast. Browning actually set the Guinness World Record for fastest speed in a body-controlled jet engine-powered suit at 85.06 miles an hour. And number four. When it comes to the X-Men, Wolverine is definitely a fan favorite. He has incredible healing factor and unbreakable adamantium claws. And thanks to the British inventor Colin Furs, you no longer have to make that clanging noise with your mouth while you pretend to have claws shoot out from your hands. I, I can't be the only person who does that. Furs created a set of automatically deployable retractable claws. They're powered by a pneumatic assembly that can easily fit into a backpack. The person wearing these claws has controls in their palms that trigger the release of the sharp blades from a sliding support. So you better hope that you're outside of slashing distance if Colin ever decides to go into a berserker rage. Number three, here's an invention that will light your fire. 
The Pyro Mini Fire Shooter attaches to your wrist and instantly allows you to become the Human Torch or the Evil Pyro. And the choice is yours, because with great fireballs comes great responsibility. Once the blaster is mounted on your wrist, all you have to do is press a button. Inside, the device will ignite a piece of cotton and shoot out a fireball. The device is rechargeable, detachable, and can also be activated remotely. They have an app for that. Number two, if you're gonna get shot at, might as well do it in style. Toronto-based tailor Garrison Bespoke created a custom bulletproof suit in collaboration with the suppliers from the U.S. Special Forces. This suit is available in different designs and is made from carbon nanotubes. The material is lighter, thinner, and more flexible than Kevlar, but still prevents bullets from breaking through the fiber. The suit costs as much as 20 grand. Number one. Tractor beams aren't only a staple of comic books and sci-fi TV shows. In the movies, tractor beams are usually capable of trapping and moving an entire spaceship. Science isn't exactly close to anything on that level, but there have been some steps in the right direction. Researchers from the University of Adelaide created a real-life tractor beam. It's an invisible infrared light trap that pulls atoms floating in a chamber it interacts with them and by creating a change in energy, pulls them towards a microscopic hole. These atoms remain trapped for long periods of time, which enables scientists to perform different quantum experiments on them. 